Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to talk about this OD visualization tool, OD Analytics. This tool can be accessible online at www.senselane.com/od/bike. It aims to visualize any type of OD data using GIS techniques. In this example, we use the one-month bike sharing data in May 2019 from Capital Bike in Washington D.C. Feel free to try this tool by yourself. First, let's download the sample CSV file. Then, select the file to upload and click Upload. Now, we can see the data is covering the DC areas on the map. After uploading this file, then we are ready to conduct our visual analytics. In general, there are three types of selections. First, select single OD. Second, select multiple ODs. Third, select ODs by polygons. Let me show you one by one. Single OD can be selected by simply clicking at the docking stations. Uh, we can notice that each station contains a point and a circle. When we click on the point, that means we select ODs, taking this station as the destination, while clicking on the circle. We can say all the ODs taking this station as the origin. On the left side, we can say each OD is listed on the table. We can interact by clicking on it with the map with a pop-up to say where it is from where to where. And uh, the chart at the bottom shows the daily bike trips on that month among selected ODs. With this tool, we can efficiently check the data and trends. The second selection is to select a multiple site at one time. If control button is pressed, multiple selection can be added. For example, when I press control button, I click another one. So the new selection will be added to existing ones. In that way, we can pick multiple interested stations by different research purpose. Another tip is that when the EXC button is pressed, any selection will be clean. So we can go back and restart a new selection process. The third way of selection is to select by polygons. Let's draw a polygon first. This is a polygon in the downtown area, and I click Finish the drawing. And then let's click Select by Polygon. We can see all the inter internal traffic happens as shown on the map. How about add another one? Now I add a new polygon in eastern part of DC. And now I click Select by Polygon. We can see that besides the internal traffic, the ex uh, external one between the two polygons are also showing on the map. And definitely, we can also modify the polygons and add new polygons, like the Delete tools. Here's another example I prepared. Let's click to show the data. Is that interesting? Besides the three selection wheel, there is a filter control bar to control the display numbers. Let's put it at 60. That means there should be at least more than 60 trips happened between the ODs in that month. Then click the button. We can see that the visual display is updated. So the visual display only display the trips more than 16. Also, we can click Show All button to show all the OD data satisfying this criteria. The final button I'm going to introduce 
is the download button. By clicking this, I can download and save my selection result and it's reusable. Let me show you an example. In the last example, I have multiple polygons showing on the map. With the scrolling bar setting 60, uh, the trips should be more than 60. Then I click download to save the CSV result. We can say it's saved. Next, let's refresh this page and upload the file which are saved. Wow, now we can see this is our selection result. We can use it for other tasks, right? Thanks for watching. If you like, subscribe my YouTube channel for new technologies. Also, you can find our group through our website and feel free to contact me if you have any questions.